Hey guys and welcome to another episode. Market makers try to deceive traders to enter the market in the wrong direction. To increase their profit by grabbing the liquidity they need before making their moves. Imagine we are in an uptrend and market makers want to push the market from point A to point B. So here, they want to buy a large number of shares, but the problem is, nobody wants to sell because everyone can see that we are in an uptrend. So, they deceive traders and make them sellers by a simple trick. And then they buy it all and continue their move to the upside. So in this episode, we will explain the key concepts of market makers trick, along with our full strategy, to not only fall for this trap but make profits out of it. So, if that's something you are interested in, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notifications bell to know exactly when we release new content. Also, comment below with your thoughts and questions, and we will do our best to answer them all. So before we explain the market maker's trading setup, there are two critical principles about trends and fakeouts that you need to understand deeply. So let's start with the trends. It is needless to say, in an uptrend, market makes higher highs and higher lows. But the problem is, market barely moves this clear, and is often choppy. So in this example, here comes the question. Are we still in an uptrend? What about now? So the answer is yes. We are in an uptrend until we get a candle to break and close below this higher low. So here is another question. Which of these lows is the higher low we are looking for? So the answer is, we identify the lowest point of correction move as a higher low, only after breaking the structure to the upside. So, in this case, here is our lower high and breaking it to the downside can signal a possible trend change. Remember, the same thing applies to the downtrend. So let's apply this concept to a real chart. Here we have a downtrend with a 1, 2, and 3 moves. According to what we said earlier, we are in a downtrend as long as we stay above this high. In the next moves, price broke the structure level to the downside and made a new lower low. So this is our new lower high. And once again, as long as we stay below this level, we are in a downtrend. And then market continues to make lower lows and lower highs until we get a break and close above previous lower high. After that we are no longer in a downtrend, and it will start a possible uptrend. Now that you know trend and market structure basics, let's talk about fakeouts. A fakeout is a failure breakout that occurs when the price breaks outside of a chart pattern but then moves right back inside it. Imagine we are in an uptrend, and the market breaks resistance to the upside. So when the market pullbacks to this zone, we expect this level to act as support now, and reject the market to the upside. But if it breaks right through without any hesitation, we call this a fakeout. So here is an important point. Fakeouts indicate the momentum on the opposite side of the direction, and it can signal a possible direction change. Here we had an uptrend until we got a fake out, and the market reversed from here. Now that you know all the concepts required for the market maker's trading setup, let's jump into it. So once again, imagine that we are in an uptrend. And the market makers want to push the market from point A to point B, and let's suppose that they want to buy a million shares before reaching the B. But the problem is that everyone knows we are in an uptrend, and the price is more likely to rise. Everybody is looking to buy and no one wants to sell. So if the market makers enters the market now, the price will reach the B point immediately without giving them a chance to buy the amount they want. So this is how they make people sell their shares with a simple trick. They will create a consolidation area and break it into the downside. So many people think that the uptrend is over and the market will reverse. So they enter short positions like this. And then, market makers jump into the market, grab all the liquidity they need, and push the market to the upside. 
So this is how we approach to this market. When price gets back to this consolidation area, it gives us buying opportunity. We will enter a buy position with our stop loss protected below this level and we will target the next level of structure. Let us summarize what we said in two steps. First, we have identified that this is a moving uptrend until we get a break and close below this higher low. So we have a bullish overall bias. Second, we have noticed this fake out that could be a signal of possible trend change for the short term downtrend. And that we will execute a long trend when we get a break and close back into this consolidation area. Here comes an important point. This strategy is a trend continuation strategy, so avoid using it in every market scenario, meaning only use it when we have an obvious trend. Now, let's discuss this trading strategy on the real chart. So this is what goes through our minds in this strategy. So here, we can identify this as a moving uptrend and we spot our higher highs and higher lows. So now, we know as long as we don't get a break and close lower than this higher low, we can establish we're still in an uptrend. And after that, we observe the price action for possible long opportunities. So here, see how the market made a consolidation area and broke it to the downside. So in this situation, a lot of traders place a short trades thinking that this market will go down. But then, the price gets back into the consolidation area, neglecting this support turned resistance. So we have an obvious fake out, and this is precisely when we place our trade, knowing that the overall direction is bullish. So, we wait for a candle to break and close inside the consolidation area, and that is our entry, with our stop loss protected below here. For the first TP we can close half of our position when price reaches to our 1-2 to two target, and for the second, we can track our profit. So overall we expect that the possibility of reaching this point is more than reversing the whole major trend. Now, let's see another example in a bearish scenario. So here we have an obvious downtrend with series of lower lows and lower highs. So we have a bearish overall bias and we will look for short entry opportunities. And then we can see that once again market made a fake out by breaking this consolidation area to the upside and returning to it right after. Which indicates the selling pressure and can signal a possible reversal for the short term uptrend. So here we will place a short entry after close of the candle with our stop loss above the swing high. So guys, I hope this video had some value for you. If it has, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more trading strategies and tips. Also, feel free to comment if you have any questions, and we will work our best to answer all of them. See you in the next episode.